Welcome back. Uh, day two of shearing is done. Uh, we didn't. I didn't actually get any footage of it uh, today. And what happened? We're actually a man down. Excuse me. Uh, Tony had a, a ewe run into his uh, one of his knees. I'm not too sure which side it was. Um, last night he was pretty. Or well, yesterday afternoon he was pretty proppy on it. Um, and he's actually a previous job many moons ago. Um, had an accident on a four-wheel motorbike and he's actually got a steel rod in that leg so it sort of hit the top of top of his leg or top of his knee or his knee at the top of the where the where the pin is so um, he was having a battle about bending his knee this morning so so yeah it was just Brendan and I so we were pretty busy with penning up and uh, vaccinating and and that sort of stuff um, I did a, did a bit of pressing and that as well for the guys today so and sort of worked one side of the the wool table so yeah we didn't uh yeah it wasn't wasn't a lot of spare time to grab a camera and do any of that sort of stuff so i'm just heading out brendan <coughs> uh came out there was three ewes with the rams at the back here um which brendan came out and picked up this morning um but there's a ram that was fly struck so i'm just going out and uh hopefully i don't get punched up i'm pretty uh yeah feet are sore and back sore and hips are sore um yeah from uh penning up and yeah it's going to be walking the raised board in the shearing shed is good but walking around the concrete floor when you haven't done it for a while is pretty hard on on everything so anyway so i'll get out here and have a look at this joker and see, what, see what's going on i've got the cordless handpiece with me so um yeah i've, I've got to tip him over i'll well, which I will, I'll have to tip him over. I'll, um, I might crunch him as well. And I think there's possibly a couple others there that are a bit daggy also. So I may have been doing them while I'm going. So, um, yeah, we'll just see how it goes. It's warmed up a fair bit. Um, it'll be... Hang on. Oh, well, you won't tell me what it's doing. It's doing a regenerative burn at the moment. Um, but it would be 35 degrees. There you go. It's just come up. So it's, it's pretty warm. Um... Yeah, some sort of seems to be at the moment from now on seems to be the warmest part of the day. So um, yeah, it's a good time to get finished. They finished at three o'clock. They got just did it in, in the three runs, which is good. So uh, yeah, anyway, we'll get out of here and see what this bloke's what he's up to and what his issue is. I did spot old mate. So these guys will be in pretty good nick. They'll be. I don't know, 85 and 90 kgs, so might be a bit heavier. Um, so I reckon I'll just push him up in the yardie, get a few in there with him, and and wrestle them. Usually they're using that, and that place just jumped the fence. Um, usually we'll just sort of grab them by a back leg, and and the use you can tip over. But these guys, as you can imagine, they're a bit stronger and a bit bigger. So um, sort of try and push him up into the little. Push him up here with a few of his mates and we'll see if we can tip him over without getting dotted up. Don't be silly. Oh. And please. Just behave yourself.
sort of funny. The rams don't usually, the borders anyway, don't usually get um, fly struck. So we'll just stand him up. He's just got a little bald patch on his bum. That'll be all right. Um, cordless handpiece if you haven't seen it. Uh, yeah, a couple of rechargeable batteries. Perfect for doing just little, these sorts of jobs. Um, yeah, with me. I'll just try and splash a bit of this stuff on him without tackling him again. Let him out. Yeah, they're a bit, a bit jumpy on the job. We won't force them too much. We'll get them back out in the containment area where they were. But the rest of them look alright. Morning. Uh, good after seven. A few critters with me. Uh, just here, just running the. Gonna run the trade lambs in and just have a sort up. It's supposed to be pretty hot today. Uh, they're talking sort of high thirties, uh, maybe forties. So forty, definitely forties in some parts, but um, it may not get to forty here. So um, yeah, just need to. We're gonna take the single bearing ewes back out the back and some of these lambs uh, I sort of want to get a bit of this country at home here ready for, for lambing so any we'll try and get a draft of heavier lambs um, out of the trade lambs that can go in the next sort of fortnight um, and anything that needs a bit longer can go out the other farm out of the road so what I'm going to do is we'll we'll box the ewes and lambs together and walk them out at once um, just so these these lambs might be a bit feral because they've only ever been here at home, so you put them with the ewes. They send a, tend to um, yeah, keep them quiet so they'll all walk together. Uh, yeah, so that's the plan anyway, but we'll get those in. Whether we weigh a few, I'll just see. Um, I think Tony's going to be back on deck. His leg's still pretty sore. But yeah, we'll get him out on the track to set up on the tractor anyway. And Brendan's just down doing about a bit of contract raking this morning, and then um, yeah, he'll be. He'll be back here sort of mid-morning, would have thought, so we'll just see what the see what the weather does and see how hot it gets, gets and how quickly it is. There is a bit of tractor work that the boys can do, um, and I've got a bit of running around to do as well. So, um, yeah, we'll just, if, if uh, yeah, it gets too hot to be out doing physical work, we can, um, yeah, stick the guys in some machines anyway, and the air conditioners generally pretty good. Uh, dogs are a bit steadier today. They've had a couple of big days at it. Um, yeah. Not, not carrying on like knuckleheads, so um, yeah, the, they're uh, actually pulled up not too bad this morning. I was a bit steady myself last night, but uh, yeah, I've pulled up alright this morning. But yeah, the, the dogs are the dogs aren't yapping and carrying on like they usually do, so it's a fair sign they've had a big couple of days.
Uh, I've just got the auto drafter set up here, so I've just got a pre couple of predetermined weights in here, and um, basically a couple of scanners up the top there that once the lamb walks in, it closes, and then it just weighs them, uh, and then lets them go. So uh, we've got a, got a bottom weight of 42 kilos. Um, uh, yeah, so 42 and above, so we haven't had too many under that yet, so uh, which is good. What have we had? I don't think we haven't had any, so they're weighing a bit better than what I thought they were going to either, um, which is good. So, uh, a bit easy with two blokes, this, but um, yeah, I'm here and I'm patting alone, so the dogs are trying their hardest, but yeah, they can be, can be a bit stubborn running into it. done actually uh, the tops that the seconds I drafted off actually ran through them again um, we had uh, their average sort of 52 kg so they're heavier than what I thought um, so I've spoken to the agent we've actually booked them in um, for 10 or 12 days time to go over the hooks so I think about six dollars fifty or thereabouts a kilo um, dressed weight so uh, yeah they should do their sort of hundred that hundred and fifty dollars which will be given we only we sort of had them landed home for about 40, which was which is good. So uh, starting to warm up. Brendan's back. He gave me a hand actually to, to run the second mob through, which was good. Uh, so I've just come down, uh, just got the backhoe down here. We're just watering the corn for the last time. Just got some kumbungi in the channel here that's sort of holding the show up. So there's just a couple of patches here. I'm just I've actually already started digging them out. So uh, yeah, they just. Just hold the water back in the channel. Probably should have been done before now, but really noticed it last time we watered. So um, yeah, just trying to scoop a bit out and uh, tidy it up a bit. Well, it's going to be reasonably messy, but anyway, we'll, we can we can deal with that later on. But yeah, priority is just to sort of get it out of the, the channel. So it, it's amazing that sort of stuff. How much it, it does actually hold the flow of water up, and then you get. Plenty of roly-poly kicking around at the moment, or what I call roly-poly, it's sort of umbrella grass, and it's sort of blocking up in the channel a bit too, so, um, yeah, if we can have a clear channel, it's sort of, we're getting to the end of the season where the weeds are starting to take over a little bit again, so we can't sort of, well, to my knowledge, you can't really do much with them um, when the channel's full of water or when you're using it, so, anyway, we'll uh, have a play around here and, and uh, yeah, get it tidied up.
well done. It's not pretty, but it's going to get the desired effect. So yeah, this will be the hopefully should be the last uh, watering on the corn, as I said. So um, yeah, we can once this dries out, we can sort of spread it around, and um, yeah, we've got a bit of bit of track work to do before harvest anyway. So um, but yeah, this stuff it's quite quite deep rooted. Um, yeah, it takes takes a bit of killing. So but yeah. It's, not too sure where it, you just seem to have a patch of it here, a couple of patches of it. Uh, I don't know why, but I uh, don't seem to have it in any other channels, but yeah, just here. Anyway, uh, yeah, next job. Uh, still pretty warm. Uh, we haven't, the cool chain sort of hasn't arrived yet. It'd be still 36 or 7 degrees, although we yeah, are getting a bit of cloud cover now, so that's probably taken the sting out of it. It's, what are we, not quite up past six. I'm not too sure what's going on, whether it's, there were talking high winds, um, but it's been pretty still afternoon, so um, hopefully we might, might have dodged that. I haven't sort of been listening to any news as to what's been going on. Some big fires down in southwestern Victoria from all reports, so yeah, fingers crossed it's, there might be a bit of rain with it to give them a chop out down there. Um, but just come down doing the final watering on the corn, so still doing its thing. Uh, yeah, a bit slow, I don't know what's going on. I had to go into town and, um, yeah, probably actually forgot about it and got, got home and went, oh, gotta go around the water. Uh, but it was uh, it's still, still got a couple of hours on the first bay yet, so I'm not too sure what, what the story is, but uh, I'm just gonna walk down and retrieve the timers there down the far end. So I'll wander down and get them, bring them back and and set them up for the night and uh, yeah, it would be about knockoff time then. Up. Cool change is slowly getting here. Uh, yeah, so hopefully, fingers crossed, yeah, this will be the last watering on the corns. A few here on the outside. Um, but, uh, yeah, well and truly starting to harden up. You can't sort of, you can't think that with your finger now, so it's, the plants are starting to shut down in spots, so yeah, it'll, um, and we're, I don't know, six weeks till harvest, something like that, eight weeks, depends what the, depends what the weather does going forward, whether it starts to rain or, um, yeah, time will tell, but anyway, so, no, nah, alright, we'll take another one off, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, we'll uh, see you on the next one, ta-da.